This one setting on your Roku needs to be turned off and changed now before you use your device again, especially if you have more than just you using your device, but I'd recommend doing it no matter what on your Roku device. Before we show you which one it is though, if you are brand new here, do remember to hit that follow button. We're going to be doing weekly Roku videos as well as our other streaming videos, whether it's about streaming apps, websites, how to watch free sport, movies, fire sticks, all that sort of content. So hit that subscribe button for free. Everything we do is free. We have no memberships or anything like that. So get yourself following, turn on those notifications and let's see what we can do. Okay, so in your Roku, we did a video about loads of settings you need to change, which I'll link underneath this video. But one which is really important, under settings, scroll yourself down, go all the way down to privacy. Under privacy, this new advertising setting, well, not the advertising is always in there, but you've got sensitive ad content now. And here you can actually turn off about seeing fewer ads about these certain topics. And you know, we've got mature stuff here. You've got alcohol, smoking, gambling, all that sort of stuff, violence. And if you've got family members on your device, the last thing you want is those on there. So what you can do, you can either turn off the ones you don't want, like this, well, not the ones you don't want, but see fewer. The only downside is this is only for your actual Roku stuff. Obviously apps which are on your device aren't run by Roku. So for instance, Netflix or something like that, if they do have an ad version or if you're using an ad version, then Roku don't control that, but they control their own ad settings. So it's worth doing all of these and getting them reduced. But ideally the easy way is to turn off the personalized ads. So with personalized ads, you'll see ads tailored to you. This setting controls ads served by Roku across your Roku device and services. So if you turn that one off, don't personalize my ads. Now, when you click on sensitive ad content, there's nothing in there for you to control. But I would recommend still under sensitive ad content, ticking all these first before you turn that setting off um, just to make sure you know, you're getting the best experience you can and you're not getting all that rubbish on there. Because the last thing you want is if you're watching with a family member, even young kids or anything like that, and then some like adult advert comes up or gambling, smoking, or you could be sat there with your grandparents. It doesn't matter. But the last thing you want to see is all that rubbish. OK, so that's the main one to turn off. Underneath, I will link my other video regarding uh, Roku settings turn all these off. There's quite a few in there, but not a lot. We just go through a lot of the different settings. So I'll link that underneath and it'll be in the pin content as well. Today's video is a really quick one. I just wanted to get a quick one out specifically about that setting itself, because I think that's quite important, that one. So give the video a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on that one, especially if you are a Roku user. And a quick word from one of our partners before we leave. For any reason, if anyone is after a VPN, um, for any of your devices from mobile phones to PCs, Quick partner of ours is IP Vanish VPN. I will link them directly underneath for you as well. Um, that is a great deal, does help support the channel. So if you want to support the channel, we don't have memberships or anything like that. But if you sign up to the VPN, we get a small commission and you get a VPN in return, which is much better than doing a membership or a Patreon and all that sort of stuff. We don't do any of that. Brilliant. Hit that thumbs up, hit that follow button. I've been Doc Squiffy. Check out all my socials linked underneath and the rest of my videos. And I'll see you soon.